The migrants at the U.S.-Mexico border feel that they should have free entry into the USA. There is historical foreign policy that's active and in effect today that supports their claim. Without a doubt, there is a crisis at the U.S.-Mexico border. Families of migrants are coming to cross into the United States by any means necessary. Immigration will be a hot topic on the campaign trail. How dire are things in your country if you're willing to abandon your child at the border so that they can have a better life? These caravans of migrants feel that they have a right to be in our country, the USA. How can people from a sovereign country even believe that that type of thinking holds water? These migrants truly have a manifest destiny. They say that the U.S. is at the root of all of their problems. Here are a few things that they claim. They say that America's demand for illegal drugs like cocaine have empowered the cartel, thus creating corruption and violence in their countries. They claim that the U.S. has funded tyrannical despots that have fleeced and oppressed the people of their countries. They even claim that the U.S. has destroyed their economies with exclusive trade policies. And lastly, they feel that the U.S. is the main culprit for the destitute in their countries. Now, regarding their claims, this wouldn't be right at all if I couldn't tell you how a lot of us feel in a good old USA. Many of us Americans are apathetic to their claims because we feel that our immigration laws address all of their claims and concerns. So if you are a refugee or an asylee fleeing persecution or violence, hey, come on over. Just fill out our immigration paperwork and let us decide. No problem. If you want to reunite with your family, just fill out the immigration paperwork and let us decide. Hey, you want a great education? Come on over. Just make sure you get your student visa. You can either stay here or you can go back home after you get your degree and make your country great. No problem. Just do it our way. And we're back to the question again. Do these migrants have a right to just bypass our immigration laws and just walk into the good old USA? Well, I found something in our historical past that, in my opinion, supports their claim. And their claim simply is that they have a right to be here in our country. Back in 1823, over 200 years ago, the United States made a unilateral decision to take dominion over the entire Western Hemisphere. This foreign policy is a preemptive statement that protects the Americas, mainly from France and Spain. And it's called the Monroe Doctrine. The Monroe Doctrine basically has two main principles. The Western Hemisphere, the Americas, were no longer open to colonization by European powers. Countries normally come in to colonize under the auspices of spreading religion and the next thing you know, they have a military base set up. Secondly, any attempt by any European power to interfere in the affairs of the Americas would be considered a hostile act against the United States. This foreign policy is over 200 years old. And you have to ask, does this policy still have power and influence today? How many countries that aren't a U.S. ally have a strong presence in the Americas today? How many foreign military bases are in the Americas today? And our great nation has a military presence all over the world. If the United States can preemptively and unilaterally claim dominion over an entire hemisphere. Aren't the people in this hemisphere 
owed something, the Monroe Doctrine unilaterally and illegally crossed the borders of every sovereign country in the Americas. Not only did it illegally cross their borders, but it crossed them out. Sometimes good intentions have negative results. You know, I truly understand both sides of the matter. And I just wanted to see if there was anything out there that I could gravitate to and offer another point of view. So right now, I would like for you to passionately give me some ideas and your responses. And hopefully it includes some research. And I'm very open to hearing it. And hopefully it'll help us all out. Again, I'm not taking sides. I'm just wondering how my information influences your thoughts. Thank you very much.